meteorite. It's the third time I've seen it this month. I'll name you... Winnie Mite. <laughs> Position, azimuth, 30.1 at 12 degrees in Scorpio. Oh, I wish I could be an astronaut so I could see the stars up close. <laughs> Return to the Torsten Space Launch Center. Wow, this could be my ticket to ride. Look at that. No, you're wrong. Nuclear fission. Oh, a Phillips head. Yes! Excuse me, I'm Winnie Woodpecker. Is this yours? Ah! My media model a satellite! Hmm. This is what protects Earth. This is bad! Wow! Is that a giant blue ice meteor hurtling towards Earth, Professor? Where? That doesn't... We're doomed! Ah! Earth is toast! I need a space crew! Perhaps I could... Oh! It couldn't hurt to just try this on. <laughs> ah, my crew person! But I just called. How did you get here so fast? Fax, email... Let's go! But, Professor, I'm I'll not... finish this toast. We've got to stop that meteor! I'm breaking out in hives. Oh, this itches. Oh, this is not good. Bad, bad, bad thing. Need lotion. Ointment would be good. Uh... Better grip, Professor. Now, there's three reasons why I can help. I'm a fast learner. I don't use up much oxygen. And I'm all you got, mister. So let's get to it. I'm... Release me now. Yes, sir. No, no, I'm not... Oh! Oh! Professor, there's zero gravity. Must get the satellite out there fast! Winnie, energize my jetpack! Oh, this is my big opportunity to make one giant leap for all woodpeckers! Oh. Oh. <laughs> yes, who's there? Those kids today? Hurry! It's not... Okay, okay, maybe it's three. Yeah! <laughs> Shut the precious! No! Magnetize the hull! It'll pull me back to the ship! Like that, Professor? <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> Just a second, Professor. Minor snafu. <laughs> this is not good! <laughs> Please stop the... Amateurs! <laughs> Must get the satellite back into orbit. Listen carefully. I'm all ears, Professor. Well, I mean, not literally. Of course, I have hands and feet, and some say a cute beak. Quiet! Now activate the robot arm! Activating the robot arm! Easy, easy. Easy, easy. <laughs> sure looks easy. <laughs> What did I do to deserve this? Oh, oh. Oh, please, be gentle. Working in space is harder than I ever imagined, Professor. Oh, my goodness! What? I can't see. Help me with my helmet. It's the giant blue ice meteor. If it is, we need to stop it. Track the beam? No. Death ray? No. Get my helmet off! I've got everything under control, Professor. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, maybe not everything, everything. I wanted to be remembered as the one who saved the Earth. Now I'm the one who destroyed it with... with a giant ice chicken! <laughs> Oh, you won't be remembered for that, Professor. It's a giant ice swan. Oh. We need something big, something powerful to destroy that star fowl. Winnie might. <laughs> Position, azimuth, 
30.1 at 12 degrees in Scorpio. That's it! What? Leaving? Where are you going? Like I always say, Professor, when in doubt, improvise! Okay, Professor, I've packed the dynamite onto the meteor. Dynamite? What are you thinking? Just Won't help, Winnie. It's still on course. Only now for the other side of Earth. Yep, Professor. And right into the path of my beautiful red Winnie Mite. Professor Quark, could you tell our viewers how you managed to save Earth? Oh, well, I, uh, she, no, what, what did she say? What Professor Quark means is that together we fired these lasers at the ice meteor and... <laughs> What are you doing? The lasers! You like to shut that thing off! This just in. I'm getting word the National Space Division has reported some unauthorized laser activity. It has knocked a red meteor onto a collision course with Earth. And this one's in the shape of a giant woodpecker. Come on, Professor. We've got work to do. What? Oh, hello? No! Space woodpeckers! Dangerous! It's... I'm breaking out in hives again! Hand over the cow juice, milkmaid. Yeah. It's Mr. Alias. You get him, Mr. Alias. <laughs> Mr. Alias, man of adventure, triumphs again. Who among you is ready to join me in my life of adventure? Me, me, me! I've made all the arrangements. I've, I've notified, notified the authorities, the authorities pulled, pulled the strings, strings and greased the, the palms. All, all to create, create an, adventure an adventure for you! Just send $100 for your very own adventure in a box! But I already did! Well, if, if you, you already, already did, did then, then watch, watch your, your mailbox, mailbox because... because... Adventure awaits! Package from Mr. Alias, too large for home delivery. Please pick up at the Oversight Delivery Office. Oh, boy! Let the adventure begin! Yes, sir, Baba Link! My adventure in a box! <laughs> Nice haircut. Ahem. Regulation 47K subsection 8 clearly states... No customers on the counter! <laughs> Lady, I just want my package. <sighs> the rules are the rules, Woodpecker. I don't make them, I just carry them out. There are rules to be followed! <laughs> Wasting stamps! That's another rule you've broken! <laughs> Say, aren't you employee of the month? Oh, aren't you sweet? Let's see if we can get that package for you. Claim slip? I, uh, have... Ah, uh, phooey. I seem to have misplaced it. Company rules are very specific about missing claim slips. Oh, oh my! Rule 84, paragraph G, states that customers without claim slips must take a number and wait in line until an official of the company, that would be me, calls his number and verifies his identity. And then there's rule 48K. No touching the rule book! <laughs> now take a number and wait like everybody else. Oh, boy. Number one. Number two. Anyone? Number three. Right here. Number three. Now can I get my box? Yeah. 
Yes. See how well everything works when we follow the rules? Now, you may wait in the package line. must be stacked at all times. Direct violation of code 525Z. Trespassing behind my counter! Finger here and help me tie this knot. Later. <laughs> no scofflaw is going to break procedure on my watch. Oh, yeah? Watch me. Woodpecker? Wow! I can't wait to begin my adventure. Come out! Or I'll have so much junk mail delivered to your house it'll look like a paper recycling plant! A Navy officer's uniform. Oh, Woodpecker! I'm coming! But first, I know just what Mr. Alias would do in this situation. Oh, woodpecker! <laughs> Come on out! I won't hurt you! Hmm? Oh, Delivery Master General! What are you doing here? A spot inspection? Regulation 39B clearly states employees are to follow orders from their superiors at all times. Yes, sir, Delivery Master General. Now get behind that red line until I tell you to move. On your mark, get set, pack that box, yes, sort that mail, count those stamps, stack that tape, answer that phone, file those invoices. Uh, I'll be there. <laughs> if you happen to know one. Woo-wee! A spa for the rich and famous. This is my kind of place. Pardon on moi. International passports, please. Spain, Switzerland, Russia, Bora Bora. Ah, oh, a pleasure to have you back with us, Mr. and Mrs. Newton the Sky. I hope your year-long ski holiday with the King of Sweden was the cat's meow. <laughs> Passport, please. Oh, lovely to have you back from Avenue C, Main Street, and... Hey, this is a bus pass. You've only been across town. Yeah, but I've been way across town. Only the ultra-rich and famous are allowed in Miss Ida Lux's European spa. We don't think you fit in with the rich and famous woodpecker. Miss Lux, my boss has a ribbon. <laughs> well, well, if it isn't Woodpecker's best friend, come to Papa. My, don't you look beatifically today. Whatever. 
And how is the little Fifu doing? <laughs> Fifu, don't bite the doorman. He could have rabies. Hey, what's that? Just close your eyes. First, a scalp massage. Now just relax. I can see every single muscle group working together like a fishing crew in a fjord. Yeah, thanks. You'll be coming back again soon. so-called doorman. Oh, you poor dear. Good help is so hard to find these days, isn't it? You can say that again. He completely destroyed my expensive urn collection. Not to fret, Miss Lux. I just returned from Bally Valley, and I would love to present this splendid little gift to you as a token of my appreciation for keeping the riffraff out of our spa. Mr. Woodpecker, you have wonderful taste. You must come with us next month to St. Hope, and then on to Monte Carlo. The figs and mud there are beyond compare. Oh, Woody, be a dear and get Fifu. Then hurry and join us in the limo. Woo-wee! 
Monte Carlo. Limos. You heard what she said. I'm in the money now. <laughs> Kids need discipline. The kind of discipline that brought fame to your great, great uncle, Colonel Knockpecker. That's it. What you two need is military school. Military school? At Colonel Cord's Military Academy, we believe kids are nothing more than short adults. Move it, move it, move it! I didn't do it. You bumped into me. Kachooey. I'll show you. I love it. Oh, help me. I do love it so. <sighs> right about now, those two moochers would be asking me for a sip. Gee, I, I wonder if I was too hard on them. Nah. Tonight on Hardline, kids speak out against adults who are too hard on them. Huh? Meet little Johnny Boom Boom, who had to go to military school. Now, every time he's bad, little Johnny Boom Boom gets sent off to his room room. Oh, oh, oh! They could come home worse than when I sent them. I gotta get those kids out of there. All right, my little heroes. <laughs> you got lookout duty. Now keep an eye out for infiltrators. If anybody comes in, you stop them. Be on your guard. You'll never know when you're being tested. Wow. This place is excellent. They must be out on maneuvers. What would great, great Uncle Colonel Mac Pecker do in this situation? Aha! He'd peck his way to the front lines. Battle helmet. <laughs> Camouflage. Transportation. <laughs> Military accessories ready. Commencing operation infiltration. <laughs> Uh-oh. Incoming bogey at 3 o'clock! Engage missile firing systems! Fire! One! <laughs> now, let's capture the infobator! Oh boy, this place is hardcore. But I'm a mech pecker. And there isn't an army alive that can stop that beat. There he is. 
using the old stilts on the water trick. Hey, Jaws, what's the matter? Snap away all you want. Can't get me. <laughs> into the open. What's this year's sauce? What's this year's sauce? Stinkweed. Stinkweed. Skunk. Skunk. Ready? Fire! <laughs> Stink bomb. Target's on the move. Move it out. Battle to the metal. Soldiers, now let's see what we've got here. All right, watch out. Where are my kids, Mister Uncle Woody? Soldiers, you know this infiltrator? Sure, he's our Uncle Woody. What are you doing here? I've come to take you home. I uh need bowling partners. Yeah, take us home. But we love it here, Uncle Woody. You do? Yeah, we, we want to stay. And you're welcome to stay with them, soldier. Because tomorrow is Relatives Reconnaissance Day. Ha -da -ha -ha. Why, these little warriors get to hunt you down and capture you. <laughs> Doesn't that sound, uh, hey! <laughs> Would you look at that? He can't wait to get started. First squad, after him! Yes, sir! <laughs> sports fans and welcome to the opening of the Antarctic Games sponsored by Mama Dulap's old-fashioned chocolate. The chocolates are burned by four out of five hungry penguins. Mama Dulap invites you to join us at the extreme sporting event of the century. We guarantee plenty of excitement, food, thrills, food, and most of all, food. Tickets go on sale, well, right now. Mm-mm. I just love being the official head of security for these here Antarctic Games. I'm sworn to keep all riffraff off of these premises. Hmm. What have we here? It looks like I've corralled me a penguin of the gate-crashing persuasion. Well, I'm escorting you from the premises. <laughs> Guard rule number one, always be leery of the tuxedo wearers. Whoa! Yeesh. Hmm, this here ice is mighty cold on the lower lumbar. You pull over now so as I can under arrest you. It looks like we have a couple of late entries in the ice skating competition, ladies and gentlemen. Well, what style that big fella has. What a left hook that little fella has. <laughs> Now I got you, you little... Ow! That smarts. That 
smart Alec Bird is definitely skating on your proverbial thin ice. <laughs> but there ain't a penguin alive who can outsmart a minimum wage security officer. Except maybe this one. What an amazing performance! We have a new gold medal winner! And now, in the Mama Dewlap's Antarctic Games tradition, the winner of every event gets a meal at the Table of Champions. <laughs> No gate crasher is going to be outsmarting me. Hmm. Needs a tad more salt. Hold on one ice picking minute. This is the law of talking. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but water will not hurt me. Unless it has been modified to solid form. Hold it where you are. There ain't a gate crash your life who can get away from me. What style? What a landing. That'll probably cause what we in the guard business call a boo-boo. You know what? My boo-boo smarts. What an amazing run! This surprise contestant has won his second event of the game. And he's wasting no time heading to the table of champions to celebrate. All right, gate crasher, hand over that drumstick. Ouch! Take the lead in the 100-mile ice gliding race. All right, you pull over. Huh? <laughs> that there is the oldest trick in the book. Yep, sometimes it takes a while, but I always prove I'm twice as smart as everyone says I think I am. <laughs> You don't see these great white polar sharks very often. We're 50 miles into the race, and Chili's still in first place. We're less than 100 yards from the finish line, and it's still anyone's race. When I catch this law-breaking icebreaker, he's going to chill in the cooler for a long while. This here's what we in the business call a hot pursuit. They don't get any hotter than this. Amazing! Chili has won three gold medals in one day. And now he's enjoying his third meal at the Table of Champions. <laughs> I did my job. I may be tired, but it's a good kind of tired. Well, the Antarctic Games may be over, but you can enjoy Mama Dulap's old-fashioned chocolate all year long. Remember, it's a gold medal treat. The Zag Zobar Super Double Deluxe Alien Combat Trooper with Galactic Goo Grip. Can I have it, yeah? Oh, Willy, wouldn't you rather have a keen stamp collection like your uncle, hmm? Oh. No. I want the Zag Zobar Super Double Deluxe Alien Combat Trooper with Galactic Goo Grip. We want to get the Zag Zobar Super Deluxe Alien Combat Trooper with Galactic Goo Grip. Can we have it, huh? Please, it'll keep us busy while you nap. <laughs> all right, all right, but then I get a nap. 
Our toys are in the toy department. According to my computer, we only have one Zack Zobar Super Double Deluxe Alien Combat Trooper with Galactic Goo Grip left in stock. Then I guess it's mine. I have my value Yopper Club card. Yeah? Well, I've got two of a kind. That beats your hand. The toy's mine. The toy is mine. Oh, yeah? Well, I say, may the best uncle win. Wait a minute. That's not fair. I was here first. Go, yeah, come on, Uncle. What do you do? You can do it. Yeah, go, get it. Go, get go, it. Go, get go, it. Go, 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 Without the toy, my Willy will be one unhappy boy. What can I do? Ah, at last, my Swedish woodworking will come in handy. <laughs> Hmm, let's see. You are here. And you're gonna stay here, too. By Yingo. By Yingo? <laughs> Looks like I'm gonna be the best uncle. <laughs> what goes up must come down. Bye-bye. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Hey! Enough with the open down! Woodpecker, would your little wooden heads have more fun with this than a silly old doll? I'll trade you. Ah, uh, pogo sticks don't have laser eye beams. <laughs> hey! Ah, ah, ah. Little Willie's gonna be as happy as a podgy Swedish banker on deposit day. Oh, Wally, wouldn't your nephew rather have a neat basketball? It doesn't have boomerang fists. Whoa! Say, Bub. Are you the kind of walrus that has everything? Do you want to have something no one else does? Then why not be the first on your block to own your very own country? Mm-hmm. Think of the joy of owning your own sovereign land mass. There are several nice ones to pick from. How about Portugal, France, Morocco, or... Sweden? Ooh, yumpin' yiminy. I want to buy Sweden, and I want to buy it now. As a value shopper, it's all yours. Zobar is mine! The yig is up, Mr. Smarty Feathers. I need that toy. <laughs> Hoidy boidy, I got the toy. Nap time's over. One toy coming up. 
do 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 do. <laughs> I'd like to buy this and use my valued yopper card so I can get my bonus points. I'm saving them up for a fjord skimmer. Don't worry, sir. I'll bag it for you right now. You, you cheater! That's mine! <laughs> Oh. Uh, hey, hey, look, Willy, I got you the, the invisible torso, Zobar Zaki. Yeah. Uh, look, kids, it's the battle damage Zack Zobar with special fall off arms and short circuit eye beams. No, it isn't. You guys broke it. Besides, the new cool toy is the Germatron Super Multi Mega Action Racer with lightning lasers. Oh, can I have one, Uncle? Can I? Can I? Yeah, can, can we, we have, have one, Uncle Woody? Can we? Can we? I'm afraid we only have one in stock. Oh my, and we're closing in two minutes. Wrestling tonight. Ah, come on. <laughs> that wrestling stuff is so fake. Oh, then you could probably win the $5,000 prize they're giving away to anyone who could beat the champ tonight. $5,000? Tell them to make the check out to Woody Woodpecker, bub. I could beat the chump blindfolded, standing on one leg, with both hands behind my back. Then let the wrestling! The Grand Arena versus anyone! And here comes our first challenger now. Let's hear it for Woody Woodpecker! <laughs> and now, world champion, the Grand Bub, licorice ropes, huh? I won't even hit you. Just run into my fist. <laughs> oh, look, a hangnail. <laughs> and there's the bell for the start of the first round. Woody Woodpecker voices the granulator. <laughs> Woody could be down for the count, ladies and gents. Wait, what's this? The granulator is making woodpecker pancakes. Wow. One, two, three, you! Let me back in. I get him right where I want him. Sorry, one shot per contender. Who's our next challenger? Whoa. <laughs> Okay, so maybe wrestling's not all fake. But you know, just the right gimmick. I bet I can psych this guy out. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the next contender, hailing from the moors of Scotland, let's give it up for the Scottish Scarecrow. Uh, I don't know any Scottish Scarecrow. <laughs> oh, you have embarrassed me and me tartan. Prepare to suffer the consequences. <laughs> it's time for me patented table toss takedown. He's got him on the left, on the right, on the left. What a wrestling! 
Wasteland. Didn't you see? The granulator couldn't even get out of the way of me lumber and caber toss, no, could he? No! He's slow! Help! <laughs> Okay, okay, he's big, he's bad, but I bet I can still beat him with pure woodpecker speed. The next contender, welcome the Shah from afar. Hey! Whoa, Das Vidania Lasagna. How did you do that? Russian ballet training. Allow me to demonstrate. And lift like so. Ah, who is champ now, my little comrade? Help, help, help. Oh, what a turn of events. The blinding speed of the Tsar has... Wait, don't count the granulator out just yet. Didn't I think of this before? Oh, my word, ladies and gentlemen, it's the match to end all matches. It looks like the granulator versus. Mama? Now stand up straight, Sonny. Everybody's looking. This is totally unheard of. Will the granulator's mama put him down for the count? You sit right here where it's safe, Mama. Oh, my, are you sure it's safe, Sonny? I've heard about so many folding chair accidents lately. <laughs> Mama? <laughs> Mama, you're right. That chair could have taken you out. Oops. Uh, be a good boy and pick up my pocketbook, dear. <laughs> Mama, I gotta go wrestle. <sighs> Why didn't I think of it before? Uh, Sonny boy, you listen to your mama. You need some rest. This is unheard of. The granulator's mom is making the champ take a nap. But mama... Uh-uh-uh. No buts. Down you go. Now close your eyes. rock a by wrestler down on the mat. Count the little sheep with me. One, two, three. And you're out. The granulator has gone down in defeat. Now I want you all to leave quietly so Sunny Boy doesn't wake up. <laughs> <laughs> How come I always get the hard jobs? I cook for you, I clean for you, I, I clip your nose as a lot. That's because I am the boss around here, and you are the boss around me. Well, you're not the only one with big dreams and perspirations, you know. Whitey! Okay, okay. Look, I'll give you a shot, Tweaky. Now, this is the con that's finally gonna get us out of this ice box. We find some beginners and charge them big dough to teach them how to ski. Then we take him up to the top of the expert slope. Quick like an avalanche, you and me then jump back into the gondola for a clean getaway to warmer climates, leaving them stranded by our perfect snow job. All right, here come some suckers. I mean skiers now. Hello, hello. I am Buzz Buzzard, the famous ski instructor for the children at prices any woodpecker can afford. How much can you afford? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah,
Buzz Bazette's Ski School personally guarantees that skiing will become a second language to these kids. They'll learn to say words like slalom. And uh, when my snow pants ride up, they chafe things. Hmm, I don't know. We provide souvenir pictures, safety lessons, hop on a slope experience, and hands-on training. And... Okay, okay, you're twisting my arm. The kids will leave you alone all day so you can ski by yourself a lot. Oh, boy, it's a deal. Wait, the dough. And I mean, uh, wait, wait, the $500. I'll pay you after I see how well they ski. <laughs> You were supposed to get the money up front. Now we gotta teach these little boys how to ski or we don't get paid. Relax, boss. How tough could it be? How tough could it be? We don't know how to ski! I'm telling you, boss, if we give him everything I promise and teach him to ski just a little bit, we'll make all our dough. Mr. Buzzard, what's this rope for? Smile, everybody. Souvenir picture. Please! <laughs> Souvenir pictures, check. <laughs> and be sure you never do that with your face. We won't, Mr. Tweaky. Good. Safety lesson? Check. Now, where is Tweaky and them little boys? <laughs> if those little boys get hoit, we'll never get our dough! <laughs> Top of the slope experience? Check. Buzzard. You're one gnarly pro. Hands-on instruction. Check. Why do they call it cross-country skiing, Mr. Buzzard? Why don't you ask him? Oh, uh, cross-country? Uh, because he's cross and uh, we's in the country. Let's go. I'll catch you. Let's go. Awesome. I'm in fact. <laughs> hey, I wonder which way we're supposed to go. Let's make a lookout. You know, boss, this is a lot easier than I first thought. That's because you're on my skis, Nedwit! All right, that does it, Tweaky. I'm taking charge of this here con again. And I say we quit. Just go back to the lodge where it's warm and safe and... Uh... Oh, Mr. Buzzard, where are you? And there are no little woodpeckers to drive us crazy. Oh, but we can't ski. Who's skiing? Last one down's a rotten egg. A rotten egg. A rotten egg. <laughs> I'm not going to be a rotten egg. Oh, All right. Sounds like they're that way. Boss, we're going to smush ourselves. Yeah. Quit complaining. We got rid of them little wooden heads, didn't we? Right on your tail, Mr. Buzzard! That's it. No more, Mr. Nice Frenchman. They are indestructible. Thank you guys for teaching the kids. 
I saw them outmaneuver that avalanche. Yeah, that was cool. Can we sign up for more lessons? We want to ski with you guys all winter. They're the best. Yeah. Oh, Can we please go with me? Please, please. Uh, no. 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 Keep them away from me. Twiggy, you got some explaining to do. <laughs> Well, Mr. Wilson, your chart calls for plenty of rest, neck rubs, and three hot meals a day. Boy, oh boy, what a setup. Free food, a TV, and round the clock care. Hmm, suddenly I don't feel so well. Dr. Woody prescribes bed rest. Big meals and hours of TV. <laughs> oh, nurse. Oh, thanks for coming. I'm head nurse Meanie. Ah, uh, well, 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 my head's fine. I don't need a head nurse. I need the neck rub nurse from next door. Uh, uh, uh. Your chart says you're to get lots of rest. I don't feel like resting anymore. Good. Then I'll just have to tire you out with some old-fashioned exercise. You know, nothing relaxes me before bedtime like weightlifting. <laughs> now you try. Oh, my. You should never lift weights when you're that sleepy. Uh, this isn't going like I planned. Your chart calls for big meals. Hot diggity dog. Bring on the cow, Nurse Frau. I made you extra large portions of today's special. Ta da! Bran muffins, bran salad, and for dessert, a bran souffle. Yeah. I mean, yum, yum. Healthy food makes a healthy body. I'm going to watch you eat every bite. Lucky me. <laughs> Mm. Oops, your chart fell. Yeah. Hmm, I don't remember that statue. Must be a new interior decorator on this ward. Oh, and don't worry, there's lots more brand left over for dinner. Easy, big fella. I know we didn't eat, but we still got TV. The identity of the thief is none other than... What's the big idea? There's a sicker patient in room 302 who needs this TV. Sorry, but it's hospital policy. Oh, yeah? So I'm not sick enough, eh? We'll see about that. <laughs> oh, my! I'm so sick. Sicker than the guy with the TV. Oh. But you're covered in sweat. Oh, and chicken pox. <laughs> you're burning up. A hot water bottle? Aha! So you've been faking. <laughs> what do you know? I'm cured. You'll answer to the hospital administrator for this! Code red, code blue, I'm out of here. Stop that. Woohoo! Coming through. Come back, you freeloader! Hmm. Aha! Uh -huh. uh -uh. Sleeping on the job, are we, head nurse? <laughs> Find Nurse Meanie, Doctor. She wants me to see her patient. Ha, ah, phooey. I gotta find a way to get past the head honcho. Bingo. Mm -hmm. The worst case of dizzy smack you silly -itis I've ever seen. Luckily, it's not serious. Hey, that 
work pretty well. Yeah. Got ya, doctor. Cancel my appointments, nurse. This is my golf day. Come back here, you little malpractice moocher! Oh, I'm, I'm terribly sorry, sir. You young folk, always in a hurry. Uh, in my day, we respected our elders. Woodpecker! Boy. Oh no, it can't be. Look what I found, ma'am. Another chicken pox case. This could be very serious. You've done a fine job getting him here. But you look tired. Take the rest of the day off. Whoopee! Yeah! All right! <laughs> oh, I mean, th thank you, ma'am. Wow, just what the doctor ordered. <laughs>